Hello everyone, Treeks here and welcome to my newest project. Probably the most cute game ever made by Nintendo, Yoshi's Story. Let's go to the story of Yoshi's Story. <laughs> Out of the blue, the island fell, darkened by an evil spell. The blink of an eye was all it took and the island became a storybook. Oh god, rhyming. <laughs> the super happy tree vanished too. And once happy Yoshi began to stew. Only baby Bowser could be so mean. To ruin the happy Yoshi's dream. The island had paid an awful cost. For the super happy tree was lost. Elsewhere on the pop-up aisle, some Yoshi eggs survived the trial. The spotted eggs in that Yoshi nest would soon face baby Bowser's test. One by one, they began to hatch. Six little Yoshis, a perfect batch. They scratched their heads and looked around. Some even tried to pound the ground. Sadness darkened every Yoshi's face. It should have been a super happy place. They quickly saw the problem at hand required a cunning Yoshi plan. If we grow super happy, the Yoshis thought, we'll spoil Bowser's evil plot. Their mission then was crystal clear. They had to go and spread the cheer. So it was, they all agreed, to rescue the super happy tree. They set out to follow the trail of fruit to find where the tree had taken root. One Yoshi wondered as he bounced if baby Bowser could be trounced. We'll stay together, the others cried, and stomp his baby Bowser hide. By eating fruit and having fun, the deed would surely soon be done. And so the Yoshi's quest began, to find the tree and save the land. Just turn the page and you will see how happiness grows in a tree. Ladies, gentlemen, welcome to Yoshi's Story. As the game says, played as a storybook. And our goal in this uh, spin-off Yoshi game is to actually find fruit and bring happiness back to the aisle. The game plays out as a 2D platformer, but not a traditional one. This is the kind of game where all of the stages don't go from A to B, having an end and everything. Our goal is to actually collect enough fruit in the stages. And that's something I'm actually going to expand even more. Because this project is going to be an all melon run. Going for the highest score possible in all of the stages. But more on that once we learn how the game actually works. <laughs> the fruit collecting is actually a mechanic that needs to be explained during practice. Story mode is what we actually play in order to go through the game normally, going through all of the stages, finding that super happy tree. That is something the main gist of this project is going to be. But before we go in there, we first need to learn about this game. Because like I said, this is a 2D platformer, but not a traditional one. There's some weird mechanics about this game, are best explained during practice run. However, as you can see, there are more modes. Story mode, like I explained, is the main gist of this game. This you're going to want to play in order to find new stages, clear the game in the story, and getting yourself through this scrapbook. But before we go in there, we're first going to practice, of course. <laughs> Option mode is also something I can quickly cover. There's not a whole lot of options in this game, but might as well show them off. 
As you can see, we have uh, audio options. And we have a memory option. Nothing too spectacular here. Stereo, mono, and even a headphone option. The language, we can actually switch them from English to Japanese. And we have a memory option where you can actually clear everything you've done in this game. Clear all the stages and the high scores. So, let's go start practicing this game. Let's find out how it works. Welcome to the gameplay. <laughs> the first thing we're going to start with, of course, is controls. You can press left or right in order to make Yoshi run. That's pretty predictable. <laughs> Works like this. We have an A button to jump. However, we are Yoshi, so we can also do flutter jumps. For that, we're going to want to hold A. And as you can see, we can do a flutter jump. Yoshi's characteristic jumping move. <laughs> The B button is actually used in order to make Yoshi eat things. As you may know, it's a dinosaur with a very long tongue. <laughs> Mostly fruit we're going to eat with that. Our next move is a staple, ground pound. We're going to want to hold down on the control stick while in the air and we can do a ground pound. We can crouch by holding down on the ground and we can even uh, slide forward a little bit if we actually start pushing left and right then. Also works when you're not crouched. Also looks really cute. <laughs> Now, let's go talk about the hut. As you can see, we have a little bit of a flower at the top left. That is actually our health bar. Our mood, you might say. The more petals the flower has, the more health we have. If we hold the R button in this game, we can actually start sniffing around. Whenever there's a secret nearby, Yoshi will actually um, alert you and you will know something is hidden somewhere. The L button is actually used in order to turn off our fruit display. I actually always prefer to play without my fruit display on. Oh yeah, and of course the game itself will also uh, have some message boxes for us in order to learn all of these tricks. This one in particular talking about the flutter jump, which I've already explained. <laughs> Very staple Yoshi move. In this case used in order to collect some coins. Eggs in blocks. Hit the bottom of the egg block to get all the eggs Yoshi can carry. Use the B button to gobble up an enemy and turn it into an egg as well. Okay, eggs also return from Yoshi's Island, it looks like. Six of them we can carry at a time. And we can get them from blocks, or we can get them by eating enemies, like the Shy Guy for instance. And the Shy Guy also actually carries the first type of fruit. Eat 30 fruits to end each stage and advance to the next. Oh yeah, and as the dialogue says, the D-pad also has a function in this game. We can actually determine where our fruit display is actually located on screen. But like I said, I always prefer to keep them off. Collect all the fruit you can. Once you collect 30, then apparently the stage ends. The Z-button throw. Throw eggs using the Z-button. Aim your throw with the control stick. If you shoot an enemy rather than eat it... Yoshi will be twice as happy. So that works for your high score. If you decide not to throw an egg, you can push the B button to cancel. Egg throwing. Let's see how that works. Press Z in order to aim. Release in order to shoot an egg and everything in its path will get destroyed. Like these bubbles carrying fruits for instance. <laughs> like the game said, you can also shoot enemies with them for extra points. Next up... Break time. Rock block. So blue and hard. Break it with eggs. Leave it in shards. Apparently this is something we can destroy. <laughs> Ooh, and what are you? Let's be friends. This is a practice course, so the white shy guy can't help you. Yet. Oh, white shy guy. More on this guy later then. The smile meter. This shows Yoshi's mood. When Yoshi eats yummy fruit, the meter smiles. Eating yucky food will only make the smile meter frown. Basically saying our health bar. If we eat fruit, it will actually rise. However, if we eat something we don't like, like these red peppers, which also don't count for fruit by the way, as you can see, we don't get any additional fruit from it, but it will also make us lose some health. Unlike this fruit. <laughs> Power flower. Yoshi can get energy from this flower. But he won't earn any points. Okay, this is also something that does not count towards our score. But we can use it to heal. Also interesting. 
Okay, this one tells us about ground pounds, something we've already known. We can actually use it on these blocks, for instance. Sometimes containing fruit. In this case, melons. And now we're going to talk about the super happy mode. Whenever Yoshi eats hard fruits, he can become super happy. For a short time, he performs all of his moves with extra flair. The super happy Yoshi has endless eggs and a longer tongue. And he's even invincible. If you pound the ground, every bubble pops and shy guys turn into lucky fruits. Ooh. Let's go try that out on these bubbles and this enemy, for instance. If we eat a heart, we become super happy, temporal invincibility, and we get superpowers like these. <laughs> we can shoot bubbles because we have infinite eggs. We can ground pound because that will then also work. <laughs> Bam! And don't forget about infinite eggs. Also a very good thing. <laughs> Likes and dislikes. Each Yoshi has things they like, but they also dislike the same things. Yoshi grow happy if they eat their favorite snacks, but sad if they eat junk. And yeah, if it is obvious, red peppers are junk. <laughs> oh, here we have a happy bee. We can actually eat these guys for instant full health. No message box for these guys, but that's what they do. <laughs> and this box will actually talk about the sniff function, like I've already explained myself. If we get to a secret, we can actually sniff out those secrets. And he will start alerting you by waving and barking if he actually finds something. <laughs> and then the ground pound is the way to actually uncover that secret. Let's go try that out right over here. As you can see, we start sniffing. And then... Here is a secret. <laughs> and if you ground pound here, we will find hidden fruit. Like a melon, for instance. The most important of all the fruits. Sometimes it's pretty obvious there's a secret, like over here. <laughs> okay, we need five more, and this practice level is over. And this message box will also talk about how some secrets don't even have to be sniffed out. Sometimes it's way too obvious there's a secret. <laughs> like over here. Platforms. Next. Uh, yeah, that we already know. <laughs> Same dialogue. Let's grab a couple of fruits until we need to do only one more. Yeah, now. And let's wait with eating the last one until we get to the end. <laughs> Next up is a mini game. Special delivery. Ground pound to load up the melon boxes and then carry them to the finish. Every single stage in this game will also have a mini game where you can earn melons. Like I said, the most important of all the fruits. And seven of them can always be earned in a mini game. In this case, a minigame where we need to carry a couple of boxes. And if we're successful, we get seven melons. Always try to get all of them. And here we find a couple more. And also seems to be the end of the stage. Each stage will actually have 30 melons. But as you can see, the stage can be cleared with 30 of any kind of fruit. But every single stage will always have exactly 30 melons in them. And as you can see here, with your tally up of the score... Melons actually have a separate category in them. And therefore, in order to get the best score and also make the game as challenging as possible, <laughs> you're going to want to go for all of the melons in a stage. And that is what I'm going to do in every single stage in order to make this interesting. The first page is the beginning. On all of the pages, which actually function as the worlds of this game, there are four stages to play. However, you only play one of them and then you advance to the next page. But more on that later. Let's just get started with stage one. <laughs> Let's start off easy. The moment you start your game, you're going to roll a roulette in order to determine what your lucky fruit is. But for me, that is not going to be important, because I'm going to focus on melons alone. Whenever starting with a stage, you will get the option to pick six different colors of Yoshis. I'll try to use all of them the same amount of time, so don't worry. Pink is up first. And welcome to the first stage of this game. Apple immediately, but I am going to ignore. <laughs> I'm going to try to get in as high score as possible. And therefore all of the regular fruits, I'm not going to pick. Of course you can. It's not forbidden or anything. <laughs> but I'd like to focus on these babies. The melons. 30 pieces of them in each and every stage. Also remember to actually jump on enemies or shoot them with eggs in order to get extra points from them. And here's the second melon. And the third one. <laughs> Pause. Press start to pause. 
You'll see Yoshi's mood and much more. Lucky and favorite fruit are shown, along with any special hearts that you have found. Okay, uh, this is how the claw screen looks. <laughs> You'll see your mood, what your lucky fruit is, and your favorite food. And hearts you've collected, but we have not uh, seen those yet. Favorite fruit is actually dependent on which color Yoshi you have, so you don't have to worry about that. For pink, that's always an apple, because of it being red. <laughs> and here in this middle section should be a secret. And the secret is... Melon number five. <laughs> Ooh, new mechanic. Nap time. There are four Miss Warps on each course. Find them and wake them up. If other warps are awake, you can jump on one to warp to another. When a Yoshi is lost, you'll start from the highest numbered warp you have reached. Okay, this is a warp system. Miss Warp. Wake up Miss Warp and her sisters to skip between them. But for now, uh, she's the only one, so we can't warp yet. <laughs> but they also function as checkpoints. In case you die. Becky Derm. Becky won't let you buy unless you give something special a try. Oh, more rhyming, eh? <laughs> but special is actually a ground pound. Because as you can see, we cannot jump over him. But if you ground pound him, he will get knocked around. And we can jump over his little stop sign. <laughs> Next. Surprise ball. You can't eat it, but if you use your tongue, you'll be surprised. Ooh, interesting. Platforming mechanics. <laughs> oh, and a free melon. Thank you. <laughs> That's number six. And the moment you collect six types of fruit in a row, you will always receive a super happy heart. And remember, in most places where a super happy mode can be reached because of getting six melons in a row, you will also find a couple of coins you can collect for extra score. Coins also get tallied up to your high score. Also important to collect many of them. Melon race. Hit the question mark block and cross the starting line to begin the race. The faster you go, the more melons you will win at the goal line. Ah, this is minigame time. However, it's going to be a different minigame than the one we did in the practice run. Before you get started, there's actually two shy guys carrying melons here, so get those first. <laughs> because this minigame like the block set, is actually going to be a race. The moment we cross the start line, a chain chomp at the top of the screen will start charging towards the seven melons. And we need to get there before he actually starts eating them. Otherwise, our prize is going to be limited to only a handful of melons. And like I said, there's only 30 melons at each stage. So you're going to want to have all seven of these. <laughs> Even if you miss only one, you cannot get an all melon run anymore. But here we are, seven pieces in total. Giving us 12 in the meantime. And therefore another super happy heart. And a giant Y will form in coins. <laughs> also remember to actually return. Because there's actually a bubble containing a melon. Which we passed by because of being in such a hurry. <laughs> but we should be at 17 at this point. Once we reach warp number 2. Yeah, and this one is the same. So don't have to talk about that anymore. And this guy's carrying melon number 18. Give us another heart. <laughs> However, number 19 should also be here. Should be melon hidden in the ground somewhere. Yeah, here you are. 19. But don't think every single secret in this game is going to be a hidden melon. Sometimes you can actually also find different kinds of secrets, like the one over here. The magic vase. Hop on top and push down on the control stick. Here we go. Uh, this is basically just a way to uh, skip between pages. <laughs> Next page. The stage will continue even more. Ignore the apple, please. <laughs> Hello, Poochie. Poochie will gladly show you the way. He often stops to sniff a secret. Oh, Poochie can also help us uh, get some secrets. So, let's go free him up by ground pounding this pole. And he will start running around. And wherever he stops... Even for a brief moment. That is actually where a secret is. Melon number 20. No, be careful for the shy guys to actually hop out of uh, the bushes here. <laughs> Here's number 21. And here we actually find the next collectible in this game. But first, let's grab melon number 22. <laughs> and now let's talk about you. The special hearts. Have a heart. Find the special hearts to open other courses on the next page. Three hearts are hidden in each course. Listen for the ringing chimes when one is near. 
Pause your game to see how many hearts you have found so far. Yeah, very important collectible as you can see. Three hearts in each stage. And only once you collect all of them, all of the stages in the next page are going to be available. But more on that later. <laughs> once we actually get to the next page. First we're going to want to deal with this one. White Shy Guy? The White Shy Guy follows you around. Does he want to be your friend? He might know a secret, but he won't reveal it until you get him out of here. Yeah, normally a white shy guy will appear here. However, we're not going to find him right now. Because we have all six Yoshis still available to us. The white shy guy is actually involved the moment you lose Yoshis. But until I do, I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> Let's in the meantime grab the second heart. There should be a platform here. Yeah, there we go. Only one more to find when it comes to those. Pucci stops here again, so remember, melon. <laughs> Only five more. And our first melon run is complete. <laughs> Let's go to this lower path quickly first. Miss Warp number three is here. And nothing more, so... <laughs> Don't have to go any further. Here we can actually find another super happy heart. <laughs> See if we have not seen enough of those. And now we can actually find this mechanic. Let's first make sure we can reach it. <laughs> Should be another platform here. Ooh, what are you? Reminds me of the stars from Yoshi's Island, actually. <laughs> but collect all of them in order to receive another melon. Also a way you can actually score a melon in each stage. We should be around done, because this is 27. And Pucci stops here as well. <laughs> so this is 28. Another stop by Pucci. So here's another secret. Oh, but this one is not a melon. This one is a platform. Containing the third heart. Also something we're after, of course. <laughs> and as you can see, we have all of them. So that is one collectible we can scratch. And now for that final one. The 30 melons in this stage. 29. Only one more to go. Uh, here it actually spawns. <laughs> Just given for free. Miss Warp number 4 is here. And also a vase that will actually return you to the beginning of the stage. In case you're not done collecting fruit. But I've actually been able to get all of the melons in one run. <laughs> Did not miss a single one. 30 melons for the perfect run of stage 1. Yoshi turns happy. Melon complete. As you can see, after every stage, a score gets tallied up. And collecting many melons being the biggest factor by far in that, as you can see. <laughs> And all six of the stages will be tallied up together for a total high score. Which I'm going to try to max out during this run. Yoshi's story has begun. With this uh, tutorial stage, you might say. <laughs> and so the adventure began. The Yoshis set out to find the super happy tree. Pucci the dog helped out. Not even elephants could stop the Yoshis. So far, so good. If they could stay happy, the tree would be saved. The page turned, and the Yoshis grew happier. And there goes page number one. And if you clear it, no matter which stage you do, you will move on to page number two. And the number of hearts you've collected in the stage you've done before that will determine how many stages you're able to choose from. It is going to be only one if you did not collect any hearts. It's going to be two if you've collected one heart. Etc, etc. <laughs> That's how it works. But this has been it for the introduction episode. We did some practice. We covered the story. And we did the first, uh, quote unquote, tutorial stage. Next time the game will truly get started with the platforming this game is known for. Collecting melons is my goal in this let's play. Thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Treeks out!